What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're checking out a little game called Community Incorporated. Now a little advance warning, I don't think this game is quite ready for the light of day yet. Instead I'm just trying to get it on your radar so that once they start working on it and fixing it, it'll be something that you are aware of. Uh, the basic storyline with this game is that you are like an interplanar being who finds locations, builds settlements on them, and then sells those settlements so that you can reinvest and buy newer, more awesome plots. Uh, in real life, the story of this game is that it was a failed Kickstarter, as far as I understand, and then the failed Kickstarter development team, I think, sold it to Tiny Build so that they could take care of it, and this is Tiny Build basically just being like, yeah, this is what they sold us, and giving it to the community so that you can see it and be aware of it. So, I would not buy this game right now, but we will check it out here today, and I'll talk about some of the things I like and don't like about it, along with some of the things that need to change if I think this game is going to be successful, because on the surface of it, the game has done a pretty good job with, like, the physical representation and the way everything works. It's just like all the internal little mechanical things that seem to trip over themselves. And so let's get to work. Uh, we are a new employee. We're a junior manager. Our village's name is going to be, I don't know, Bill Bukerke. That sounds good. Sounds fine to me. Obviously, uh, maybe that'll work out. Put more animals on the map too. I never see any animals in this game. Like legit, I don't think I've ever seen an animal in this game, like chickens or anything running around. It concerns me. There needs to be chickens around because otherwise how can I have fried chicken? Uh, my name will be Worker Passport. Hmm, what should my name be? My name should be Zorog. The Impudent. Will it fit? No, the Impudent. That's not good. Well, Zorog the Cruel. There we go. I gotta put everybody on the right foot so they know who they're messing with when they try to live inside my colony, alright? I don't believe in pretension or, like, pretending you're something that you're not. I believe in destroying my enemies. Let's start. Hey, boss! You were allocated to take care of a new community for our company. Make your workers happier, they do bad things. Like set themselves on fire and commit suicide. Uh, there will be several contracts that come through from other creatures. Choose them wisely. Portals will be used to transport new lings and can also be used by other races for trading and or fighting. Now let's get to work. Uh, you can continue after the 30 days. It's up to you to decide. Alright, good luck. It doesn't matter because we're not going to survive like five days. I'm just letting you know right now, we're not going to make five... On a good day, I'll make five days before this game utterly falls apart on me. So we'll see what happens here, but I'm not going to put a whole lot of hope into that barrel. Uh, no, it's not my first time playing. Let's go ahead and pause the game. So welcome. Uh, this is our interdimensional portal. It's the place where our workers come from, and also, it serves as the central hub of our city, so other creatures from other dimensions are going to come through, teleport to other dimensions and stuff like that. Kind of an interesting concept for a game. This is our cart, which acts as our first little storage area. If you've ever played RimWorld or Dwarf Fortress, just think of this as, like, your storage room for right now, and then you can get more later. Uh, the first things we really want to think about is we want to look at the calendar. So we have two days of rain on day four and day five. That means we're going to die on day four. Uh, rain is utterly broken in this game. The second it starts raining, your entire colony dies. Rain is deadlier than any blade that can possibly be conjured in this game. It will kill you. There is no way to prepare for it. Except that right now. Uh, this needs to be one of the first things the new development team fixes. Uh, because the game is utterly unplayable right now so long as rain is in the game. If I was them, I would remove the weather entirely until it's been reworked and it actually functions properly. Because you'll see what I mean. When we get to day four, it's going to rain for like five seconds. All of our guys are going to get plague and then they're all going to die. Watch, I promise you that. So let's get the game started. Um, we're going to build a Ling, and so we click on this right here. A Ling is one of our little workers. And while we have our little workers available, uh, we want to assign them jobs. So they come out as builders, which is fine. But every single one of these guys actually has little stats and stuff that determine what they are. So for example, this guy would make a good warrior because he has the warrior trait. And he also has leadership, which means he starts as a level 3 warrior when we convert him over. If you wanted to convert him over, you click. And then you click on here for a new job. You click on the new job and it'll assign him. Uh, this guy is athletic, which means he works and moves faster and he learns faster. Uh, we will make this guy a lumberjack so that he can become a carpenter fairly shortly. After that, we'll go ahead and build another worker. Our new worker is good at warrior stuff, but we don't need a warrior. He's going to be a miner. People don't get to live their dreams very much in my colony. He dreams of being a warrior. Oh, this guy wants to be a warrior too. Too bad, you're an herbalist. Sucks to be you. Enjoy your fun job assignments. Uh, while I'm assigning this, by the way, we should get started on other work. So we can click on the shovel up here, and then we can tell them to chop down some trees. You can't give orders while the game is paused. It's a weird quirk of the game that I don't recommend. We will chop down all of that, and we will also get that rock right there so that our miner is working. 
and then, so our herbalist can work, we're going to start looking for things for him to dig up, like these pumpkins over here, so we can feed ourselves. Uh, other things that are important. I'm not going to mess around with shelter, because even when you have shelter, they seem to die in the rain anyways. Uh, this time around, I'm going to play around with maybe a different strategy. I'm going to try and rush an herbalist, so that he can make healing potions that will just heal us through. Uh, get all these flowers over here. There you go. Yep, perfect. Flowers, flowers everywhere. And so there it is. Uh, you will see he's begun chopping down trees. We've got some logs on this side, which is pretty sweet. It's log, it's log, it's big, it's round, it's wood. All right, so we've got two builders. Uh, that leaves us with we need one extra thing. I would suggest that we also get a farmer, maybe? I don't know. Farmers are all right. I don't think we need them, though. Uh, let me get another couple builders in here. And so our cooldown is going to run. These guys are going to do their work. Builders also act as haulers when they're not doing anything else. But we need workbenches in order to get any work done. And so we can press R key to rotate things. If you wanted to grab items that are near stores that can be placed, like tents and buildings and workbenches, it's inside of this menu right here. Uh, we will place both of those. Well, I'll put one over here next to the stockpile. And then that one was probably poorly planned because that means people are going to have to run in between them. It's going to take them forever to get work done. Uh, this guy's chopping this tree right here. His health bar is falling. That poor, poor tree. I will probably queue him up for a few more trees just to make sure we have a lot of logs. Uh, be careful if you fill up your storage. They won't haul anything anymore. So instead of grabbing the objects, bringing them over and crafting straight from the object, they'll pick up the object, they'll go to the stockpile, and then they'll get confused. And since the builders that build things can only take things from the stockpile, you can kill your colony by filling up your stockpile. So pay attention to this number up here and make sure it never fills up. Because if it does, it's gonna suck for you! What we want to do now is we want to turn some of those logs into wood plates. And so there it is. 30 wood plates should get us through. Uh, 30 stone bricks should get us moving too. We don't have any fibers right now for fiber plants. So we're not going to worry about our fiber intake at the moment. We're just going to ignore that. And what I am beelining for is I want an herbalist's workbench so that I can make, if we go to healthcare, I can make cure potions. If I can make cure potions... Oh, we need clay flasks for that though. Damn. So if I need clay flasks, how do I make that happen? A clay flask costs clay, and it takes a sculptor's workbench, which is right there, which also takes a carpenter. That's not too bad. I think we might be able to rush it. We've got three days to get as many Ling healing potions available as possible. And if they get sick right after... Oh yeah, these are the other denizens of the world. They have their own little factions. Uh, their factions will fight with each other if you make friends with one faction too much. So here's a contract. Hello, we're running out of good food to be clear. Salad, will you provide us with salad? We will pay you some surplus. So they'll give us 80 bucks and 5 relation for salad. However, if you help the mushroom guys out, I think it makes the bird guys mad or something like that. So I'm going to refuse that contract for right now. I'm mostly just interested in getting my colony up and running. On top of that, there's a cotton plant right there. We are going to need that for some stuff. Uh, is there anything else around? Another cotton plant right there. I'll probably have them take those out right there. Another cotton plant on that side. Uh, they are going to dig these out of the ground in order that you queue them up, so be aware of that as well. As you queue things up, uh, they are picked up in the order that they are queued by your herbalist. You can see here our workers are building the wood plates and things that we told them to build along with the wood or the stone bricks. Uh, they will add those to the stockpile, and then we can use those to craft things in a little bit. This bench is going to be markedly more efficient than this one over here. Our warrior we can deploy over on this side with his wooden blade so that he can protect us all. And based on what we have in our stockpile... Oh, he's almost finished the plates. Good. Fantastic. That's a good thing. Uh, can we make fibers yet? No, we cannot. But I can help out with that a little bit. If I go to... I think if I go to the Lings menu, I could tell them to prioritize hauling plant resources over here on the right hand side. Uh, you might notice that they have little arrows up above their heads. Uh, the little arrows mean that they've leveled up and you can put stuff in. I'm actually, they have three stats. They have combat, they have wisdom, and they have will. Combat is self-explanatory. Wisdom makes them faster crafters. Will makes them more resilient to the elements and falling apart when it gets rainy. It doesn't matter right now. I've dumped all of my points into cold resistance and they still die like instantly the second it starts raining. So, you know, fun stuff there. So instead, this time I'm going to dump everything to wisdom and just hope that the efficiency of their crafting goes up to the point where we can outrace all the bad things happening. So there it is. Get better at crafting, everyone. Everyone, everybody in the club, get crafty. Everybody in the club, get crafty. There we go. So we'll give them a little bit of craft speed right there so that they can move it along a little bit quicker, especially our herbalist who is at level four. He is getting work done at a breakneck pace. 
Uh, this is the end of our first day. I actually think your campfire only lights up at night. And what's really linked in this game to sickness in your characters, if you click on these little guys, it's their warmth stat. If it gets more than halfway down, they start getting sick and they die of illness, which is why rain is bad. If you were able to keep the fire running at all times, you could call them back to the city center and force them to stand next to the fire in exchange for like food resources and whatnot, but you can't do that. The fire goes out during the day. And so they just freeze, ironically enough, they freeze during the day, and then they're perfectly warm at night, but during the day they get sick because they're too cold. And so, like I said, this game needs a lot of work. I was really hesitant about showing off this game, just because it's not ready. I don't personally think this game is ready for the limelight just yet. Its rush is not there. But I do want you to be aware of it because the game's presentation is good and like the systems that are here like work, except for the few that don't work, which are so critical that they kill you almost instantly. Uh, we can build buildings inside of here. There's everything from shops to road docks to houses, whatever you want to do. There's graveyards, warehouses, all kinds of cool stuff you can build. I've never been able to build any of it because I die too soon. But uh, if we can get some fiber plants, that'd be great too. So let's turn those into uh, fibers real fast so that those are all good and ready to go. From there, we will rush out whatever we can in order to try and survive through this. This is literally probably my last, I'm not going to say literally because figuratively it can't be my last attempt. It's legitimately there. I'm not lying to you. This is my last attempt at the game. If I fail this time around, I've put like 10, 15 hours into this game and never survived past like day five. It's just, this is the only thing I can think, oh good, my miner is stuck. Fantastic. That's always a good sign. Go ahead, Lings, get your stuff done. Go do work and haul things. And you can see, like, a lot of the things, like, their hauling queue and whatnot do work. Like, they do actually, like, do the little things you want them to do. It's just kind of the cold system will kill you before anything else. Uh, the next thing I'm interested in is I want to get a sculptor's bench up and ready to go. But we need a saw so that we can promote somebody to a carpenter. And then I'll also build a shovel so we can get another herbalist so we can move this along. Uh, the other thing that I'm interested in is if we can get those fiber plants back, we can make a sculptor's workbench and an herbalist workbench, and we can try really hard to bum rush healing potions so that we don't die of horrible things happening. However, our storage is getting kind of full right now, so be aware of that as well as that might actually kill our colony is just running out of storage space. That guy just leveled up while finishing off some of the little things he was supposed to be doing. Uh, the fiber plants have apparently been kind of crafted, but not really. Either that or they haven't been hauled back to the stockpile yet. Goody, goody gumdrops. Uh, there goes some more fibers right there. Very nice. Hopefully someone will bring these on over the stockpile so I can get that workbench going for our herbalist. Because I think that's our best chance is to really focus. Do we get any clay over here? We got stone. We got iron. We got a pile of clay. We got a little bit of clay, so I think it'll work out. Uh, this guy wants 20 wood plates in exchange for 50 bucks. I'm going to say no, but it is important to note that you do have goals you're supposed to be hitting, and each time you hit one of these goals, it makes your village more valuable, so you can sell it. Uh, so we've got a home sweet home, have 10 buildings, 200 items crafted, you have 30 lings, uh, sell 20, 200 items, actually not that difficult, make more than $10,000. Uh, complete 50 contracts, we have 30 lings, must have more than 80% happiness, and defeat 50 creatures are the options that we have available. There will be occasional invasions from other factions that are just being like dicks, and there's not a whole lot you can do about that. I would just watch out for it. It does happen from time to time. And it has wiped a few of my colonies, although it's not nearly as deadly as the rain. Uh, we're going to make an herbalist workbench and a sculptor's workbench, but it won't let me until I make a carpenter. So let's pause the game. I'm going to go to my Lings menu down here, and I'm going to find my Lumberjack. The Carpenter is an advanced version of the Lumberjack, and so we will say, hey, guess what? You're a Carpenter now. From there, we will hire another builder. This guy, uh, Batmo, apparently. I'm going to call him Batmobile from now on. will be our new Lumberjack. And so we have a Carpenter now, which means I should be able to go into here. We will make a Herbalist workbench. Okay, we'll make a Sculptor's workbench first. And, oh, he has to level up to three in order to get that done. That's terrifying. Yeah, we're definitely not making that then. I don't think he's going to make it. I don't think he's going to make it. So maybe, I don't know. Let's trash can that. We have a sculptor's workbench. Just keep making that, I guess. And then we'll also, until he levels up to three, we'll get fiber plants in here. So that we have enough of those. And once the fiber plants are done, there's something in here that only a carpenter can make. And I can't recall what it is, and it's a great thing to spam in order to get them to level up. There's like a level one carpenter thing you can do in here that makes him like way better. Oh, the worker workbench. That's what it is. So I'll spam worker workbenches for the next day, but tomorrow it starts raining, and then we all die. 
So, you know, welcome to Community Incorporated, where we all die from harmless rain. Yay. I think that... I'm gonna have to turn my miner into a sculptor, too, so that I can make those clay pots. This is a little bit problematic. It's definitely an issue that I don't really like. Make workers workbenches, please. I'd like the carpenter to be working at all times so that he can get stuff done. That guy... No, stop talking to my villagers. They're supposed to be working right now. Go away, dragon creature. Nobody wants to converse with you. You are an ass, and none of us like you. You're the worst. Where's my carpenter even at? My carpenter is apparently carrying plants around because hauling is more important than doing the things I tell him. Let's go ahead and say no priority real fast so he stops doing that. And then he'll come back over here, maybe make some workbenches, become like a level... I don't know. Like a level 3 carpenter, maybe? That'd be cool. You Oh, he made level 2, so that's good. Making workbenches. So maybe he'll make level 3. I don't know. We'll have to wait it on out and see what happens. Make another one. Until you hit level 3, this is your job. Until you hit level 3. In addition, I can actually place these workers' workbenches so we have more people doing workers' work. I guess. So there it is. We will also place these sculptors' workbenches over here. There we go. And I'm going to speed up the game ever so slightly so that things get done. There it is. So he should probably make workbenches at some point. And if he don't, I'm going to cry. Did he hit level 3? Please hit level 3, son. Please hit level 3. So he's gathering up clay and whatnot. Iron ore. So he's actually hauling right now, which is not good. That means there's something missing that we require in order to make the thing that he wants. I also need my lumberjack to go chop a few more trees so we can get some wood plates into action. But our stockpile is basically full right now, so we got to watch out for that too. Uh, fiber plants are almost done. Make another workbench. And then from there, my suggestion would be to make a few more wood plates so that we have the things we need in order to make maybe the herbalist workbench, presuming that he levels up to three trying to do this. Is that him right there? He's the carpenter. Is he almost there at the bare minimum? Oh my god, he's so close. He is so, so close. Uh, one more worker's workbench then, and hopefully he gets there, because if I don't rush this properly, we're probably going to die. Uh, the other thing that you could do is you could build tents. Uh, building tents is not a terrible plan. Like, But people going inside and getting out of the rain doesn't seem to help out with their warmth anyways, and they still seem to die regardless of what you do. So, uh, Oh, we have a level 3 carpenter. Yay, take that up the queue. I need that herbalist bench like right now. Uh, let me pause the game. And we will place the... We have the sculptor's workbench down already. So what I need to do is I need to go into my lings menu. And I need to turn my miner into a sculptor. But I don't have a carving tool. So I need that first. So let's get the carving tool. That should be really easy to make. There's the carving tool. We'll take that up to the top of the queue. This is a stressful building game, believe you me. And as soon as that carving tool is done, I think the carving tool just got done, I can take my miner, we can turn the miner into a sculptor. No! Why is nobody making the carving tool? It's probably being hauled right now. That's probably it right there. I bet you anything that was it. And so now... Oh, it wasn't. Jesus, where's this carving tool at then? It says it's done, so who hasn't hauled it? Somebody haul that carving tool over to here. It's our only option. It's the only way we'll survive. You guys understand, like, death is staring you in the eye right now. And if you don't, if you don't bring it over, we're, we're all going to perish. You understand that, right? I'm hoping you understand that because we need this carving tool, like, five minutes from now. So, please do it. There it is. So, he's now that guy. Uh, we hire a new Ling. The new Ling. I don't even care where he's at. He will be the new miner. Uh, but he will be the new miner in a minute when this guy exchanges his pickaxe. And so on day three, it's going to start raining. Uh, we are going to place this herbalist workbench. Like right here. Somebody will get on building that. And then we will also place these, the sculptor's workbench is already down. Uh, I'll place a couple of tents, even though it doesn't matter. I've rushed enough tents to have everybody indoors by the time it rains the first time. And it still doesn't seem to do anything. You still die. So, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Now, we've got some plates over there. Come on, get that stuff done. If we can get this infrastructure jumping, I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be good. So, there's our herbalist bench. Uh, the next thing we want to do is we have a sculptor. And so, we want clay flasks for, like, days. 
So just make as many clay flasks as you can. I don't even care how many of those you put in. I just need a bunch of them so that we need blue flowers. Where are the blue flowers at? Let's pause the game and look for blue flowers since apparently that's what we're lacking in order to make healing stuff. Blue flowers, you around here somewhere? That's red flowers, white flowers. There they are. We got our blue flowers over here. So blue flowers on that side. Let me get the game started real fast so that I can actually queue up work. Blue flowers right there. I do wish there was a button like in Starship Theory where you could force them to prioritize a task. But uh, I haven't seen it yet. We got some pumpkins right there that we'll get next. A little bit of cotton down here that I think will be valuable. Just keep them on the flowers and whatnot. Uh, I can't hire any more lings because I'm out of cash. I'm also almost out of storage. Uh, yeah, some more workers' workbenches over here, please. If only to clear them out of storage. So that we're not using up that space. It'll also give the builders something to do because, let's face it, they're never really working that hard when I look at them. We got some herbs over there that might be helpful. I don't know if I need herbs for healing, but we'll... We'll queue that up just in case. I should have a sculptor around here somewhere doing sculpty guy stuff. Sculpty guy, you want to do some sculpty guy things? Anybody? Oh, the other thing I need is I need a well. Uh, let me go to furnishings and the well is inside furnishings. If you don't have a well, everything burns down the first time there's a fire and it's bad. Like it's, it's really bad. I've lost entire colonies to like roaming fires that just catch things. And that should be good enough for us right now. He's over here, I presume. Oh, there's our well right there being crafted by somebody. It actually looks like it didn't clear out our space altogether that well. Okay. Well, I suppose I can live with that. We'll put the well, like, right over here somewhere and just kind of make that happen. Hopefully we don't run out of food or anything like that. I will place the well, like, right there so that if we end up with fires, they can put those out. This guy is making clay jars, which is great. Uh, that's something that I'm very much looking forward to. I do not see any blue flowers being harvested right now, which makes me concerned about what my herbalist is working on. Herbalist, what are you working on right now? Anything? Shizer. All right, well, with our workers, we will make a new sword so that I can make a few more people warriors, a few more shields. Just keep things going along. This guy wants me to kill magical Ents. Um, no, that's pretty bad for our relationship with the magical ants, so I don't think I'm going to outsource my murder. My job is to build colonies, not act as your own little Blackwater service, bro. Ain't my job. Ain't my job, ain't my thing. I can't dig it, yo. Uh, focus on plant resources for right now when it comes to hauling. So we can get those things back. And then as I look at my health care, ah, we need a physician in order to do this. And I'm thinking that's probably the job of the herbalist. So what we'll do is, with my herbalist, if I want you to be a physician, how does that factor in? Are you not level 5? You're level 4. Looks like your XP has stopped going up anyways. Interestingly enough. Ah, oh, bummer. We just hit a stopgap. We just hit a stopgap. Can do everything the herbalist does, but also makes antidotes and cure potions. Well, hopefully he gets better at his job. If he doesn't, uh, this is going to suck for us because the rain is a-coming. Rain's a-coming. It's going to hurt us. Rain's a-coming. Yeah, so day four is when the rain's going to hit us. And so if he doesn't level up to five like right now, which I don't think he actively will, because as an herbalist, I don't see him gaining XP. It might be he can only go up to level five by making basic heal stuff like this right here. That's also actually pretty intensely possible. Uh, someone's attacking us right now anyways. We'll have to wait and see who it is. Oh, it's a wolf here. Bring the guard over here and he'll fight the wolf. There we go. Have the guard kill the wolf and everything will be all right. So there it is. Ah, here comes the rain. Fantastic. And so the wolf is slain. Remember to turn off your alarm, otherwise It'll just do its own thing. The rain also makes people unhappy, so if they get unhappy, they set themselves on fire and commit suicide. There are a number of very poorly contrived mechanics in this game that are just like, alright, I guess my entire colony collapses because it rained. Basically, rain is the harbinger of death. When rain comes, we all die. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. 
He's making clay pots over there. I think we're going to fail our rush. I don't know if there's any way to cancel the work that he's doing right now because he's not going to work on potions until he gets done with all the digging jobs that he has out here. So our best bet might be... You got to be a level 2 herbalist for that, though. Shit, I was going to build a new herbalist. Just make a shovel and make a new herbalist real fast, but uh, I don't know how that's going to do. Did he hit level 3 or level 5 yet? I can go through and assign some of this stuff so that they work faster. But as you can see, their warmth levels are going to pretty rapidly drop off as we're playing. Uh, everybody just work faster. Yep, become the workers that I know you can be. Just be incredibly efficient, incredibly amazing at knocking out menial tasks. Uh, we got another attack coming in. Looks like it's a goblin strike right now, but our guard is taking care of it. The downside is that it sets off the alarm every time that happens, and when it sets off the alarm, everybody comes back to camp and, like, stops whatever they're working on. So there's a pretty solid chance that we're all toast here. I mean, it's only 9 in the morning, and everybody's meter is almost half empty. So that's the main problem, is that it just drains you too quickly whenever you're cold. Also, our stockpile is full, so they can't even haul things anymore. So that's pretty cool. They're all just going to stand around doing nothing now. Um, yeah, so that's Community Incorporated. Community Incorporated. Uh, furnishings, we can actually make some wood barrels to increase our storage capacity, but I doubt that he will actively build them. Oh, he will, actually, okay. So we'll build the barrels. I didn't know if he would build the barrels if things were taken out of there. And so go ahead and we'll craft some barrels. But yeah, Community Incorporated. The game's a little bit of a mess right now, but this is one of the reasons why the game was abandoned and then sold to Tiny Build, and Tiny Build is actively now taking on the responsibility of fixing the game so that it can be sold as a full product. Uh, they haven't begun fixing the game yet, as far as I know, they've just acquired it, and this is the old demo from the Kickstarter. But if this looks like something that you think could be good someday, Keep that in mind. Community Incorporated. Add it to a wish list and just keep an eye on it in case it ever gets fixed someday. I'll see y'all later. Thanks for stopping on in. My name is Splattercat. I show off indie games that are coming out uh, in the indie sphere. If you like the game, I can play some more episodes until we all inevitably die from freezing to death, if that's what uh, gets your jimmies rustled. Aside from that, I will see you all later. Thanks for stopping on in. Hi, do, everybody. I'm going to sit some barrels around so that we have some more storage. As an addendum to the end of the episode, there's sickness right there. They are already sick. Because there's no way to warm them during the daytime that I can tell aside from warm clothes, which are really hard to make. Uh, some people said that lanterns might do it, but I've talked to every YouTuber I know and they're like, yeah, dude, I can't survive past like day four. So I'm assuming it's in rough shape right now. I don't know. I've talked to a bunch of different YouTubers, but there's the illness that will inevitably kill us all that comes from the rain. And I wasn't able to set up my doctoring station as rapidly as I would have liked. And so I suppose that's just the way life goes. Hi, do everybody.